All right, ladies and gentlemen, now this is your opportunity to meet some of the amazing artists here in Dublin, Georgia. And we've got this beautiful lady with us. How are you? I'm well, and how are you? Doing very well. Why don't Great. you talk to us a little bit about you, okay? Introduce okay. yourself. Okay, I do a different type of art. I do religious art, and it's Byzantine, mm -hmm. and that is very ancient. So I do things from the Bible mm -hmm. and do people that are recognized as saints. Right now I'm working on Mother Teresa. Oh, wow. And so she's coming along very nice. It takes a little bit of time. It's a different kind of art. Mm -hmm. We mix our own pigments out of powder and oh, wow. add egg to it. Really? And that is how, that's very ancient. Now, how long have you been doing this type of work? About 16 years. About 16 yeah. years. And you know, it's very intricate the way it sounds. It is intricate. There's a basic steps mm -hmm. that you always do. So there's 22 steps. Mm -hmm. If you uh, finish your icon and it, it's around for many, many years, it gets right. damaged, you can go backwards over those steps and repair it. That is fantastic. Yeah, it is fantastic. And so was it, did it take a lot for you to learn how to do this type of artistry, Mrs. Edge? Yes, it did take mm -hmm. me. It uh, took me uh, uh, several years before okay. I was free to go on my own. But right. then I jumped in and it's great. Yes. And now here you are. You've got some of your beautiful work on display. Yes. That's beautiful. Right. This is a transfiguration. Mm -hmm. And it's showing Christ and um, his, his some of his apostles yeah. here. They can't look because so much... Uh, glory, the glory with God. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. as you see it. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And listen, and so to have your work here, you've been doing this, having your work here at, um, for the art exhibit for how long? How many years have you been doing this here? Well, well I've been only been in Dublin for eight and a half years. Okay, and so you've definitely made use of your time. I have, I have, very much so. Very and much we're so pleased, and the work that your husband does as well. Oh, yes, he's very active in Habitat for Humanity. Yes, always nice to see him I and know. the work that he does. And, and at the farmer's market. Yes, he is. And now we know where all of his goodness comes from. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> well, your work is beautiful, thank and thank you. you for sharing with us a little thank bit you. about how you do what you do. And let me ask you this one thing, why do you do what you do? It, it is peace and tranquility. Mm -hmm. It is when you're working on that, you lose yeah. yourself in another medium. And here you are. Yeah. And that's beautiful, because anytime you're use, able to use your hands, it, right. is, it does have a very relaxing... It, it Absolutely, yeah. it does. All right. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ladies too. and gentlemen, this is Mrs. Margie Edge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we've got some wonderful artists here, and they also have a, an amen section over here. They've got a lot of a, a great support system um, for Miss Wileen Hardy. Wileen, talk to us a little bit about how you started off as an artist and what we see out here today. Well, I was um, interested in art since mm -hmm. I was a kid, and I started out actually with paint by all painting sets mm -hmm. and sketching and just doing comic strips. I just always had an interest for arts and crafts. So even as a little girl? Yes. And here you are, all the things that you were doing as a child, it's coming into full fruition here. Yes, yes. Very good. And you've got mm -hmm. this beautiful daughter here to your right. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Introduce yourself to everyone if you uh, would. My name is Crystal Hardy, and I am one of five of Wileen Hardy's children. I'm actually <laughs> the middle child. <laughs> And tell us, how does it feel for you, as her daughter, to see your mom doing something to this magnitude, something that you know that she loves to do, and now here she is doing it publicly? Yeah, I'm very, very proud. It's nice to see kind of where my mom has gone over her life and how she paused for a moment, but then she found the courage and the strength to start back on her art and doing something that she wants to enjoy, that self-care piece. Mm -hmm. And actually seeing her do her and this being these paintings being yeah. um, an expression of that is very inspiring. and. I'm just very proud of her after so long of taking care of others, her taking mm -hmm. care of herself and doing what she enjoys. Absolutely. And to hear your daughter say this about you, um, does it give you a, a sense of peace inside to know that you're actually doing something that you love and mm -hmm. it's being supported? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that God bless me to fulfill some of mm -hmm. my passions in life that I um, always dreamed of doing. Very good, mm -hmm. very good. And we've got two other beautiful ladies with us here. We've got one hiding in the back here with me. <laughs> Introduce yourself to us and tell us um, about you coming here to support your friend. Okay, um, I've known Waleen ever since I was a little girl. I'm from Macon, Georgia, <laughs> and my name is Denise. So when I saw it on Facebook, I said, oh, yeah. oh I got to go support her because that's my friend. Yeah. So that's why I came, and Waleen always known how to draw, yeah. and I knew she was going to you know, do something with it. I mean, she's very creative, <laughs> right, right. not just in drawing and a lot of other things, mm -hmm. sewing, cooking. Yeah. 
baking. A jack of all trades. She's a jack of all trades. And, trade. and you're, you're proof, Denise, mm -hmm. to know that, you know, you've been mm -hmm. friends with her for so long to yes. see what she's doing. Right. All right. Here's another one down here. Hi, darling. Talk to us a bit. Hi. Yes, my name is Renee Moffitt. I'm a friend of Wileen, and I've been knowing her for a long, long time. And she is very creative. She is a jack of all trades, and she is also an encourager. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Miss Hardy, you've got a big support system here. You've got Thank some you. ladies who've known you for so long, and you've got your daughter here. And you've got other friends in the background who are definitely cheering you on to come here yes. to support you for the beautiful artwork that you're doing. Thank you. All Thank right. you. And I appreciate everything All right. um, that they you know, do in my <laughs> life yeah. as well and coming to support me for most things that I do uh, All right. accomplish. And we're proud mm -hmm. of you as a community. Keep doing that self-care right. and doing Thank what you. you do. Thank you. This is Miss Wileen Hardy, and this is her uh, support system standing here at the rear. There are so many extraordinary artists here, and here's one that is no exception. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you again, too. Talk to us a little bit about yourself and the work that you do and have been doing for so many years. Okay. I started as a young child. I just liked to draw, and I decided when I went to college, my counselor always told me to do what I loved, and so I had never had a formal art class. Mm -hmm. But I went to Georgia Southern and majored in art and ended up in art education, and I've been teaching for 38 years, wow. and I love it. I love and it. And you know, Ms. Ward, is whenever we go to your classroom, mm -hmm. it is absolutely beautiful. Like the work that you, uh, that you put into the education of these students mm -hmm. and just their natural talents is just pouring out. Right. That's the, that's the most rewarding thing mm -hmm. is to see children that don't think they can do it and find out they can and, mm -hmm. and, their, and their love and passion. I like to pass it on. So. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so how long have you been a part of Art Dublin and, and having your artwork displayed? Uh, about five or six years. Mm -hmm. um, I was in the Artist of Georgia last um, spring. Mm -hmm. um, with one of my works. It was the first juried competition oh, I wow. had entered and I got accepted that made me happy. You know, you pour out so much of yourself to others and now to see you in your elements mm -hmm. doing this for you is a beautiful thing. So tell us about some of your work as we're looking at this beautiful thing here. Um, I love bright colors mm -hmm. and I love coffee. So I've been working this on and off for about two years, but I would do some colors, then change it, and then try to unify it by using the same colors. Mm -hmm. But it, it just makes me happy, and I like I like to use bright colors, it and I like so designs. Beautiful. Well, thank you. And so many intricate little designs in there, and this is acrylic paint that you're yes, using. Yes, it's acrylic. Mm -hmm. Very good, it's so beautiful. How many pieces do you have here today? Five. Five different mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we're just so uh, thankful for the work that you do within the school system, and how you're teaching and pouring out to these kids. Well, they they make my day too. I mean, they really do. I love teaching them and they're so wonderful. And I just love them. It's evident because I mean, just to, when I see you in the hallways or just see you out, you're mm -hmm. always so happy. Well, and I know you. that art makes you happy. It does. It does. And the students learning and, and uh -huh. like I said, just yeah. passing it on to them. Yeah. Well, thank you for everything that you're passing on. Well, thank you for helping Dublin and Art Dublin. Thank you. This is Ms. Katrina Robinson Waters, ladies and gentlemen. Integrity Hospice of Dublin is your trusted health care partner. At Integrity Hospice, we care about you and what's best for your family. Our team of professionals assist patients and families face the most challenging days of their lives with dignity and compassion. Our approach addresses the holistic needs and wishes of our patients, from medical and pain management to household and nutritional assistance to emotional and spiritual support. Integrity Hospice, serving all of Middle Georgia. Trust, compassion, dignity. Integrity Hospice, Hillcrest Parkway, Dublin. It is such an honor to meet all of the artists here. Now we've got the youngest artist uh, with us this evening. How are you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Now why don't you please tell, your, tell us all about you and tell us about the work that you've been doing for so long. Well, I am Ashley White. I currently go to school at Georgia College. Mm -hmm. um, I study fine art studio and I also have a minor in photography. Photography is my favorite mm -hmm. art medium and currently I have 
photos here. Um, this is actually my first exhibition, mm -hmm. and I am very excited about this. Ashley, this is such a huge feat for you. This is wonderful. Congratulations. This is great. You know, the fact that you're, you're majoring in something and minoring in something that you love to do, and now yeah. here you are at this platform being able to display your work. Did you ever think that this would happen for you? Um, <laughs> Probably a few years down the road, but right. I didn't think this soon, so I jumped on this opportunity. And when did you start taking pictures? I mean, were you always like a little kid with a little camera? You yes. see something cool, and you're like, I gotta get this picture. Yes. Wow. And now you become a lover of it, and now here you are, you're displaying your work. Tell us about the work that you have here today. Um, I shot all the photos in my first art class mm -hmm. last semester, yeah. and Actually, all these photos are on one roll. I did not have to. Really? Most of them are pretty good. Um, I'm surprised that I got all really good ones on mm -hmm. one roll. So, and it does not take that much effort to, for me, at least. And so, how how rigorous is your schedule at Georgia College? It stays pretty busy, yeah. actually, with yeah. all my art projects mm -hmm. and printing and drawing and yeah. painting and all that. And so. Um, what type of career are you looking for after graduation? Hopefully going to graduate school for mm -hmm. photo yeah. and maybe working for National Geographic. That's my goal there. That would be fantastic. I remember at school, like, to see the coolest pictures, you had to look in the National Geographic book. <laughs> I re we would just look at the pictures. That was, like, yeah. our thing. And you'd find so many beautiful colors. So I'm sure that when you see something visually, mm -hmm. it attracts you and you can find the beauty in that, can't you? Yes. <laughs> Very good. Well, listen, we're so proud of the work that you're doing and, and of course, the work you have displayed here. Here. Yeah. Very good. Keep doing great things, lady. All right. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Ashley White, a bobcat at Georgia College State University. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been such an exciting evening to be able to meet so many talented uh, men and women here within our community. And this one here is another great one. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. How are you? Doing very well. You know you're like a legend, Joey. You no, know, I don't know about a legend. <laughs> In my own mind, maybe, but... <laughs> I mean, just from all your years, you know, with uh, uh, the Courier Herald, I remember playing basketball and my sisters and brothers playing, and I would see you out there, and it was always a joy to see you. Well, thank you. I enjoyed doing it. That was one of the loves of that job, was being able to cover the sports and all the people, and it was kind of neat because, like, the athletes your age, I actually got to cover some of their kids. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And here you are now. Yes. Tell us about what you're doing here tonight. Uh, I'm actually a rookie at this. This mm -hmm. is uh, my first art exhibit with the, uh, the Art Dublin. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I got talked into it by one of the members, and I've enjoyed it. It's been a great time to show and see right. all the other art and how many talented people there are in this community. Absolutely. So it's, it's kind of surprising. You don't, a lot of us are closet artists. We kind of... <laughs> you know, come out for something like right, this. So right, right. And a nice. great number, too. Oh, and, yeah. and as we look around and we see all the beautiful work, and of course, yours is up here in the background. Tell us about some of this that we're, we're looking at back here. This is a lot of stuff that I've taken throughout the years. Some mm -hmm. of it, when I was, you know, traveling around doing my job, mm -hmm. I would run across, you know, just great scenes that I just thought needed to be photographed. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, others that on my travels, like, you know, going on vacations or right. whatever, just... Whatever, uh, for some reason, I'm really inspired by water. Uh, you mm -hmm. got water, water. This is at the beach. That's a lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> wow. You know it. But, <laughs> or whatever, you know, nature. You mm -hmm. know, whenever a cloud, like, that's just an interesting cloud formation mm -hmm. going by that's the beautiful. Jefferson Street steeple there. So it's just, you know, whatever inspires me or catches my eye, and I try mm -hmm. to do something with it. So. And here you are. You're doing this, and it's so beautiful. Oh, well, thank you. And so did you ever think that you'd be doing something like this in your many years of all the work that you've been doing? <laughs> well, did you ever to be think honest, <laughs> when I was at Georgia Southern, I was actually taking art photography classes. Right. Mm -hmm. It was an elective. That's right. kind of what got my interest, and then I kind of got more and more into the technical side of it. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I'd say after Georgia Southern, you need a job. <laughs> so that's where the uh, Courier Herald came in. Right. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to be able to do, you know, what I love to do yeah. and work at it, actually get paid for it. Absolutely. So I, and that's a rarity in the art business sometimes. Absolutely. So. But I mean, and the fact that you did so much great work then and here you are, you're still doing great work. Well, this is, you know, kind of the fun side of it, the hobby mm -hmm. side or the, the art side or just right. 
Like I say, it's just, just a lot of fun. So well, good. Okay. Well, nice to see you again, and nice to see that you're having fun. Well, thank you. I enjoy it. Thanks for the time. Very good. This is Mr. <laughs> Joy Wilson, ladies and gentlemen. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this event could not go off without having a wonderful group here to work for the art show and tell here at the Carnegie. And we've got the chairperson of this event with us and also our resident artist, Mr. Yes. Zan Dukes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So nice to see you. Well, we are glad you are here and <laughs> glad to be here at the Carnegie tonight. It's so beautiful, such a huge turnout, so many people out here, the great artists. Tell us about what you all had to do to make sure this came into fruition. Well, we had to meet and plan, and we spent a couple of months planning this and mm -hmm. then had some help with publicity, and yeah. it helped us and Diane Clark and several of the Art Dublin members mm -hmm. got together and we planned and took up the art and hung it, so. It's so beautiful, and you have so many artists here. You've got some who are, this is their first time being a part of this. Yes, we have some that are young mm -hmm. and some that are uh, new to our group that right. we've reached out to. We've had about 25 to join and show their art here, so. And it's, so, good. and it's so great, and, and this whole weekend is geared toward that and to show the art and to sell the art and different things like this. And so your work, now you've been busy for quite some years yes. in this realm. Tell us about uh, what you've been doing, Ms. Suzanne. I'm an oil painter. Mm -hmm. I also teach art and music at East Lawrence Elementary and have two children and a mm -hmm. husband, so we're busy. But if I get away to my art studio, um, yeah. it's like relaxation and oh, just yeah. can... And of course, step you know, back from all the chores. <laughs> and here you are, you're doing yeah. something that you love and you've been doing this for many years. What made you decide to go into this particular type painting? Well, I went to a, a plein air paint at Diana Tressler's house mm -hmm. about 16 years ago right. and she saw that I loved what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Just, I was doing charcoal that day and she said, come to my house tomorrow night and we'll paint. <laughs> and then I didn't leave. And she, I had to pay her rent practically because I wouldn't leave her house. I'm like, I gotta learn this. Right, right, right. And something woke up inside of me. Absolutely, magical, really. And you, we're looking so. at a painting here. Could you just tell us about this painting and the work that you put into this? Well, this is a portrait of our son Andrew, and portraiture is what I always wanted to do. Mm -hmm. I thought would be, you know, such an accomplishment. Right. So. I paint a lot of florals, mm -hmm. a lot of plein air painting, animals even, but I thought I've got to tackle a portrait. Right, right. So it's still wet. <laughs> wow. I just decided I'm going to go for this and mm -hmm. get ready for this Carnegie. So. And how uh, old is he now? 17. This is amazing. <laughs> I had to put up the courage to, to begin the painting. I had some photographs. So you looked at a picture so, of your son from when he right. was little. Yes. And you said, okay, I'm going to tackle this project. Yes. Has he I seen did. it yet? He has. He what likes he it. He, does. he likes it. He does. So it's really beautiful. So, thank you. And how much time does a portrait like this take uh, to do? Uh -huh. I can't begin to add up the hours. It took. I work on it for mm -hmm. about you know a week or two and put mm -hmm. it away. Right. Work on it again. Probably hundreds of hours. Hundreds on of this. hours on now. this. Now, is this something that you think that he would want to keep, or would you keep it in the yes. house yourself? I will keep it until. You know, mm -hmm. I get much older, right. and then I would give it to him. And then that would be something so. he could show his children and just yes. just to see the work that you do. And, and we know yeah. that, you know, your husband does so many great things in the community, of course, as the band director for the Raider Brigade, yes. which you're missing yes. a game tonight. Missing a game, <laughs> and that's okay. And then here you are as an educator and as an artist um, yourself. So we really appreciate all the work that you do. Oh, we love it, and we love Dublin. Absolutely. And appreciate the interview and you coming out here to join us. Absolutely. Thank you so, for doing these wonderful okay. things. Thank you, Pat. This is Mrs. <laughs> Dukes, ladies and gentlemen.